Hi, welcome back to Cedar Porch Homestead. I'm JR, and this past week we had some pretty intense storms that came through with some pretty high winds. And unfortunately, we lost a big limb on one of our pecan trees. Now, this kind of comes up as a problem for the backyard homesteader or the small landowner, because what do you do when you have a limb down and you don't have a chainsaw? Now, fortunately, I do have a chainsaw. It's a gas powered chainsaw. It is a two stroke, it, but it's not a very good one actually. And I needed to replace it. So rather than going and getting a new gas power chainsaw, I wanted to kind of see how these new battery operated chainsaws worked, especially pertaining to the small holdings or the small homestead. So let me get on Amazon. Let me get this thing ordered and we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, so I've got my new chainsaw here. Now I kind of had a good idea of how these Dewalt battery operated saws work because I also have the pole saw made by Dewalt. These both run on 20 volt batteries, which with a five amp hour battery, they run for a pretty good amount of time and you can cut a lot of wood with them. Well, at least the pole saw. We're gonna actually be putting this little 12 inch uh, regular chainsaw kind of through the ringer today and seeing if it really holds up to what you could expect having a backyard homestead or really just a small property. And well, I mean, I can talk about it or we can actually get to work and get something done. Let's see how this thing works. Right, so I have to admit, I'm actually really impressed with this 12 inch, 20 volt Dewalt chainsaw. It did quite a bit of work on one charge. Now we're using a five amp hour battery to cut all this pecan up. Now, if you've never cut pecan before, it's actually a really hard wood, eats up chainsaws pretty good. So the fact that it was able to plow through this entire big branch, along with all the limbs behind me is pretty impressive. As far as for a backyard homestead, a small property or a small homestead where you don't want to run a whole lot of gas, this little Dewalt chainsaw seems to be uh, doing the trick. So I've got a couple more limbs. We're going to chop up and cut up with this second charge. And then we're going to send some of this stuff through the chipper so I can get it in the garden. So let's get to it.
So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit surprised with this little 20 volt chainsaw behind me because, well, I got all my work done with it. The down limb from the storm, I had another down limb, we got those all cut up, we got the limbs all cut up, and I'm kind of done, but the battery's not quite done yet. So on two charges, I'm gonna keep this thing going and seeing how many, how much I can cut with this chainsaw on two charges just to see how much work you can really get done because, well, let's face it, you're competing with the gas powered chainsaws out there and you want it to be able to get a lot of work done. So let's get to it and see how much we can get done. Okay, so I have to say I am extremely impressed with the Dewalt chainsaw because I wasn't able to run that battery completely out that second time because I just ran out of things to cut here on our half acre homestead. So I wasn't gonna start just chopping things up for no reason. So it cut a lot of wood today. We have pecan. Now a lot of it was dead, but none of it was rotten. So that chainsaw had to go through some extremely hard wood today and it did an exceptional job. So I have already committed to the Dewalt platform, so this was a no-brainer to go ahead and try the 20 volt chainsaw. I've been extremely impressed with this saw. I've been extremely impressed with the Dewalt pole saw. I will link both of those in the description below because, well, I'm not gonna tell you to use something that I wouldn't use myself. And as far as a small property or a small homestead goes, this little chainsaw is just about everything that you need. Now, if you live up north and you're gonna be chopping or you're gonna be needing to cut a lot of firewood for the season that you're gonna be bringing in, maybe this isn't the saw for you, but as far as we are here in the south, we don't need this a whole lot except for some storms and some little bit of clearing, and it really is gonna do everything I need it to do here on our half acre homestead. So as always, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new videos. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. We'd love to hear what you guys are doing on your own place. And as always, we'll see you on our next video. Thank you so much.